Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today, we have got another Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 Prestige class for you. And today, from the Complete Warrior, we have the Reaping Mauler. So, we're going to talk about, um, well, what it, uh, the Reaping Mauler is. We're going to talk about what it takes to become a Reaping Mauler. We're going to talk about what you get as a Reaping Mauler. And finally, we're going to talk about how good they are and how you might use them in a build. So, let's get started. Well... Uh, the Reaping Mauler, basically, they are, uh, they're a wrestler. They are someone that, uh, is very big on the grapple. They don't carry weapons, basically, ever. Um, they fight with their fists. They, they fight unarmed. Um, they're quite good at, um, just unarmed combat in general. Um, not even just necessarily wrestling, but they're quite good at just, you know, unarmed strikes. Um, on top of that, um... Uh, they tend to be big, burly guys that uh, uh, tend to uh, really like getting their way. And uh, a lot of people tend to uh, not like them uh, because of that, or at least uh, be very... Uh, I guess not like them isn't so much a thing. It's more um, they're very uh, wary of them. Uh, so, yeah, let's talk about uh, what it takes to get in. So, first off... Um, well, it's not too crazy. Base attack bonus 5, fairly simple. Um, requires uh, some skills. Uh, Skate artist 5 ranks and tumble 5 ranks. Fairly straightforward. Um, and it also requires a couple feats. So it requires the clever wrestling feat, as well as the improved unarmed strike feat. Um, and uh, it also requires, as a special thing, that you have defeated at least 3 opponents that were one size category larger than you, um, using nothing but your bare hands. So that's all it takes to get in. That last one's kind of a fun one. Um, and it's one you're going to have to figure out a way to do. Um, so yeah, uh, I recommend uh, getting in as some sort of unarmed build. And uh, not doing, uh, not focusing on uh, grappling and wrestling too much until you actually get into the class. Um, and there's some reasons why. Um, so let's talk about what you get. So you're going to get a good base attack bonus. So that's good. Uh, good reflex and uh, fortitude save, but a bad will save. Okay. Uh, D10 hit dice, not bad. Um, and 2 plus int skills. The skills aren't great, but uh, the rest of the chassis is pretty solid in all honesty. Um, basically good everything other than will save. Uh, and good hit dice too, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, weapon and armor proficiency, uh, they don't get any. Um, improved grapple uh, is a feat that they get uh, early on. So... That's a reason why you don't want to focus too much on uh, grappling until you get into this class, um, because you're going to get uh, improved grapple real quick. Um, you're going to get mobility, but only when wearing light or no arm or, or light or I think medium armor. Yeah, um, or light or no armor, so not medium. Got it. Uh, they get adapt wrestling. Now adapt wrestling. Uh, uh, basically, they just get a bonus on all uh, grapple checks. Uh, it's at second level they get this. Uh, it's a plus one uh, to all grapple, uh, plus two at fourth level. That's basically it. Um, they get counter grapple at third level. This one's an interesting one. Uh, this one is if they ever encounter another grappler and you know they want to try and get out of somebody else's grapple. Um, they basically can do either escape artist or they can do a grapple. Uh, it's actually not even or, it's really and. Uh, so if, if they fail one, they can immediately do the other as a, a part of the same action. So basically, um, effectively, any time that they're being grappled, if they want to get out, they can attempt to do both at the same time. And if either works, they escape. Um, so yeah, that's actually kind of nice. Um, they get uh, Sleeper Lock uh, at fourth level, or uh, yeah, third level. Uh, sleeper Locks, basically, they put them in a chokehold. Uh, in a sleeper hold, and um, uh, they have to, uh, if uh, they pin somebody, it's just sort of automatic anytime someone's uh, pinned for a full round uh, by them at the end of that uh, round, uh, they have, uh, the opponent has to make a, um, uh, on, a fortitude save, uh, DC uh, equal to uh, 10 plus uh, their class levels uh, plus wisdom, so up to 15 plus uh, uh, wisdom of uh, or uh, be or uh, lose consciousness for one d three rounds. Uh, pretty can be pretty nice if it actually pulls off. Um, not really a way to be immune to this one either. So yeah, um, uh, except for well, I guess if you're immune to sleep. But 
uh, like elves get. Um, but uh, I'm actually not even sure if that would work uh, with an elf. I think they might actually knock an elf out. I'm not sure. I think they would actually. Yeah, elves can be knocked out. Um, they just don't. It's, this isn't a sleep effect. So yeah, you can't be immune to this. Uh, you know, just thinking this through. Uh, then at fifth level, they get devastating grapple. Kind of the same thing, but it requires three rounds. Um, and uh, they have to make that same save or die. Um, so that's impressive. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, and I, I think if they're holding it, like it might be like every round. And since the other one would apply too, they'd probably have to make it for both. So uh, you can really, really uh, deal some damage with this one. Um, pretty nasty. Uh, but that's what they get. Um, really all they get. Um, so let's talk about, um, how good, uh, how good they potentially might be. Uh, so, uh, it's an interesting one. Um, it does require that you be medium or small size because of clever wrestling. Um, so that is the prereq for that one. Um, which it's not a bad, uh, feat for, uh, medium or small, uh, grapple build. Um, so yeah, uh, grapple builds tend to be better at larger sizes, but this one, if you're playing a build that is medium sized, this is kind of the way to do it for a grapple build. Um, could work on a number of different things. Um, uh, yeah, just, it's just an interesting, uh, an interesting build all in all. Um, it's okay. Not the best, not the worst. Um, yeah, it, it, you could use it with uh, other grapple type uh, builds, um, but yeah, that's that's mostly all I have to say about this one. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D and D three five content. Uh, we do one of these on every single class, race, and prestige class in Dungeons and Dragons three point five. Um, and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch. I'll be seeing you.